Well, hello everybody. It's absolutely fantastic to see you back here on the channel. And guess what? I am back in Tasmania. Yep, that's right. I am here in one of the most beautiful places to shoot nightscape photography, or in fact, photography of any sort. Have a look behind me, there's Mount Roland. And I've just been having a good look at that as I've driven down the road here. You know, when I first got here, it was sprinkling rain, got off the boat. It wasn't too bad. After about an hour or so, grabbed my coffee down the road, had a bit of a snack, come to this little spot here where I've just been able to just look at this magnificent view. Anyway, I'm on the hunt for locations to shoot my nightscape photography. Not exactly sure where my next destination is going to be along the road. It's, a, it's an adventure and that's part of the whole reason I come here is just to experience that. I'm not here with any agenda in mind. I've got some ideas, but I'm gonna go with the weather. Okay, let's get back on the road and have a look. I can tell you now that no visit to Tasmania is complete without at least paying a visit to the Cradle Mountain area and that is where I am right now waiting for one of their shuttle buses to come through so I can get on board and see what's down there. I haven't been to Dove Lake for four years and things have changed a fair bit since the last time I was there. So, sun's almost out so let's wait and see. It's quite a rarity to get a sunny day here at Cradle Mountain, as you can see in the background. Clouds on top of the mountain there. I'm going to have a bit of a look down here and just see what I can come up with. I don't know if I'll be able to come back here tonight, but I'm going to have a look and just work out the weather and uh, go from there. So let's go. So things have changed quite a lot since I was last here. Would have been four years ago. You can see this new visitor centre that's been produced here. Um, overlooking the lake. It used to be a car park and you could just come in here, well, after hours, and you can still come in after hours a little bit, but this is completely different um, to where what it was like then. But this track's pretty much the same and uh, everything else. The weather's the same. It looks good, but it could rain or even snow at any minute. So I'm going to get down there. I want to go down to the boat house. Uh, a bit of sentimentality attached to that. So um, anyway. I'll do it now. So here it is, the famous boat shed that everybody comes to take a photo of at Cradle Mountain. Just behind me, well, you've got the shed, the boat shed there, and the mountain behind it. It's a, it's a beautiful day for it, for visitors. There's not many people here, which is quite surprising. I'm getting wet though. And yeah, so uh, you've got to come down here and have a look at this. Yeah, it brings back some good memories. Although, the last time I was here, I spent two nights here and it was really, really hard to get a nightscape image from here because the clouds and the wind and the rain and the hail and the snow just uh, was pretty, pretty heavy. Nevertheless, you've got to come back here at least to have a look at this beautiful landscape. I remember quite clearly the last time I was in this position, the snow was melting on the top of the boat shed here, which made it look absolutely amazing. It was very cold. Now it's cold here today, but not as cold as it was that day. But there was a couple of compositions that I scouted out down here, which I never ever got back to. And I think I might just check them out again. You just never know. I might be able to get back here later on tonight. Well, it's pretty soft underfoot here, but it is a pretty good location, I reckon, to shoot because it gives you a a bit of a gap in the mountains over the other side there to get the Milky Way coming up if it's visible and it's a nice little rocky outcrop here yeah I think it's got a bit of potential this 
facing south to southeast, which is exactly what I want to do. Although when it's windy, uh, uh, everything's blowing around, which is never good for long exposure photography. But you know, you just gotta, just gotta roll with the punches. Well, I have to say the weather for this place is looking very, very promising. It's, there's a lot of sunshine and the sun all around the horizon. So I don't know, I might just have to make the trip back here tonight and just see what I can find. I've scattered out a number of locations, but first things first, I'm starving. I've got to go and get something to eat. My car's miles away from here. So uh, anyway, I'll find something. Let's go. Well, I've made my way back to the car and I think I've pretty much decided that I am coming back here tonight. I'm gonna to risk it for the biscuit, as they say. Speaking of biscuits, I just happen to have one in my hot little hand, which I'm gonna dunk into my cup of tea here. Mmm, not bad. All right, so anyway, later on I can drive in here, but I can't do it until after the shuttle buses are finished. So in the meantime, I'm gonna try and find somewhere where I can actually camp for the night. That's my next challenge. But I'm gonna have this first. Okay, well, I found my spot for the night. This is where I'm gonna camp tonight. Uh, just an open clearing. There's obviously been people here before because I can see ashes and yeah, but uh, it's a road in off the main road there, not too far from my destination to shoot tonight. You know what else? I could probably even shoot right here in my little camp location because there's a nice little tree here. Milky Way Galactic Core straight up over the car there. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I'll tell you what, it is freezing at the moment. I was actually getting really warm back at Cradle Mountain because the sun's out and it's, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. And Oh boy, oh boy, I tell you what, in these parts of the neighborhood, the, the temperature drops very rapidly. So it's gonna be a very cold night here tonight. I'm gonna to have to rug up, but I'm getting excited. Look, there's a fair bit of clear sky, as you can see behind me. Uh, the cloud comes and goes very quickly. There's a fair bit of wind, which I don't like, but hey, I'm at Cradle Mountain. I'm gonna be shooting here tonight and we'll just have to see what eventuates. Now, of course, one thing I really have to do is get my jet boil fired up. So I'll get my little tripod mount here. Oh, it's fantastic. Have a look at that. The back of the car is absolutely jam packed. I'm living out of this car for the next two weeks. So I had to bring everything but the kitchen sink with me. Okay, get the thermos going. What a beauty. You cannot beat the jet boil. It is bitterly cold, so I'm gonna need this baby working overtime. Well, here we are back at Cradle Mountain. So I've got my bag, cameras. Oh, I've got to get gloves, everything else. Oh, gee, do I need to take a raincoat? Maybe I might need a raincoat. Okay, off we go. Well, you can see this visitor center is lit up like a Christmas tree. So it's gonna shine a bit of light down here to the lake. Anyway, it's, hopefully it's too far away for it to cause too much trouble. I'll keep moving. I'll just get out of your way in a second. I'm just gonna go over there. All right, I'll do that.
Okay, so I've made it down to the lake. You can see the boat shed over there behind me. Uh, it's pretty cloudy on the horizon at the moment, but there are stars overhead. So I think it's just mist on the mountain, which is nothing unusual here. My plan here is to shoot a panorama. So I'm gonna sweep around and get the, uh, the boat shed Marion's Lookout, which is up there, Cradle Mountain, all the way across here. Um, and I don't know how many shots that's going to be, but I'm going to be shooting long exposure to get some more um, detail out of the foreground. So probably 60 seconds, maybe even 90 second shots. So it'll take me a little while, but that's my plan. So I've got to get a good firm tripod base here. All right, so I'm going to put this into portrait orientation. So before I do that, I've got to have a really level tripod anyway i'll soon work it out but i'm going to use the atoll just flip it around like that oh yeah there's plenty of stars up there now i'm not going to do any light painting here this is all going to be ambient light that's why i want such long exposures so i've just got to level this tripod up and the camera using my nikon z6 mark ii with a 20 mil f 1.8 lens as usual got a remote trigger here this will take me a bit of setting up, so I'll come back to you a bit later on. So as you can see behind me, stars are coming out. So um, I've just got to make sure that the, I can get as much as I can on the horizon. I don't know if I'll get it over the Cradle Mountain itself because it seems to be fogged out across the top, but that's pretty common here. But yeah, it's looking good behind me there. I've got the remnants of Orion over there setting down over the horizon. So it's really quite clear all the way around here, which is fantastic. Just what we want. So um, I'm currently shooting a panorama. It's taken a fair while, 90 second shutter speed. That's for the foreground. And then when this sky clears like this, I'll shoot them at standard shutter speeds. 15 seconds, maybe even 20 seconds. I'll just see how I go with that. So I was pretty keen to come around here and get a different perspective on the boathouse. So I shot it down here, facing more up towards the, the west, sort of north, northwest a little bit. And um, yeah, put the lights around. I did my fine art light painting on that and it doesn't look too bad. I, I couldn't get the camera any lower where I probably would have liked to, but it's still, I think it's okay. It's something that I haven't seen anyone else do a nightscape photo from this angle. So, it's getting a bit windy at the moment, but there's a lot of stars out. Well, I was so excited, I forgot to turn the microphone on before. I was just saying I'd taken some pictures around here and did a bit of light painting. I was getting really excited because the stars all came out. They've just about gone again now, but I had a beautiful clear sky there for a brief moment. So I did another pano here, um, got to the top of Cradle Mountain. There's just a little bit, a bit of cloud, but. It was really clear right across the sky. So I am so excited.
Well, it's a very cold morning, two degrees on the temperature gauge at the moment, but I had a really good sleep here at this location, quite secluded, but freezing outside. Pretty good inside. I'm wrapped with the photos I got last night. I was really tired at the end of it, and I just couldn't go any longer. Uh, that's why I abruptly ended the video last night. But you saw from the images that I shot that, yeah, I got a fair bit. And a couple of extras on the way back. Uh, one just here, right next to the car with that tree over there. Milky Way down that way over the mountain range. Fantastic. But anyway, that's all I've got for you for this particular instalment of my Tasmanian adventure. I'm having brekkie now. Got the, the hot water, got the cup of tea. I'm happy. I've even got a hand warmer here in my pocket, keeping my fingers a bit warmer. Oh, gee, the things you've got to do in Tasmania. But anyway, I'm going to continue on, so I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. You guys have a fantastic week. I'll see you later.